ADHD. We zoning. The advent of Christianity on the African soil brought with it a myriad of changes. African societies had African traditional religion, which had its own rules, regulations, but were now faced with a change and the adoption of a new system. Change, as we all know, creates tensions. Tensions regarding what to keep in the traditional culture, combined with the new spiritual dispensation of Christianity, these tensions affected the everyday lives of the people. Chenwa Achebe's book, Things Fall Apart, provides one of the best depictions of these tensions. In this book, one clearly sees some of the tensions created by the advent of Christianity. The society had its mores, rules and regulations that they lived by. But the advent of Christianity created turmoil. Born-again Christians still want to observe and perform the traditional rites and rituals when it comes to naming a child or during funerals. They may not follow the rites in its original form, however, they still believe that the rites should be observed. A good example is the child naming ceremony. Christianity seemed to have undermined tradition and culture by negating some of its practices and by calling the practices paganistic. One of the rituals in the account of Ghana is in Sagul, or pouring of libation. This ritual, for some reason, creates two systematically opposed feelings by a group of people who have gone through theological training, rectors and priests. The ritual of Insagur has been loosely word, worded, wording my own, translated from the Akan language in Ghana, West Africa, as libation. Insagur has been described by Archbishop Peter Sapong of Ghana as the act of pouring a liquid together with a prayer. I became interested in Insagur because some Christians feel that Insagur is antithetical to Christianity, and others see Insagur as possibly being used as part of the Christian liturgy. The reasons given by some Christians who do not accept Insagur is that they believe that if Insagur is a prayer, then the words being said should only be said to God and no one else. They believe that because Christians believe that Jesus Christ died and saved us, there is no need to pray to anyone else but to Jesus Christ. Those who accept it see in Sagur as a channel of communication, and this channel keeps all their loved ones near. They also believe that death is not the end, but just another aspect of the continuation of life. Life is lived in a continuum, and as Diop says, the dead are not dead. The following is a step-by-step -step procedure on how to perform in Sagu for those who wish to learn to perform it in the right way. And it's being performed by my advisor, Professor Kofi Asari Opoku. This is my demonstration project, and I hope it's for all our edification. Thank you. Hey. Uh-uh. It's okay. Yeah. I go. Amen. I go. Amen. I go. Amen. I go for a and so when you say, as I say, answer. Yeah. I go for a while and so. I mean, I'm when I'm doing the baby, I say, No, I'm asking to tell now, my baby, somebody, no, what base, my poor ma, I can't have any way. No, 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 no,
It was a special ritual of libation to commemorate the completion of Eva Shaw Taylor's um, research for her Master of Divinity degree at uh, the New York Theological Seminary. And um, I called on God, the Creator, Mother Earth, who sustains us and all our ancestors, to come and witness this occasion. And I called upon all the realities, both far and near, to come and bless Eva and to congratulate her on her achievement. I prayed for success for her uh, in terms of the book she wants to do and other projects she wants to do to disseminate the right information about this ritual, which is grossly misinterpreted. And so through her work, others will come to understand the ways of our ancestors. Then I went on to ask for blessings on her children, on my own children and Kukunyante's children, and on all our children here studying, asking for blessings and guidance on them to complete their studies and come back home to support all of us in lifting up um, our countries. I ask them, the powers that be, to ward off all evil hmm, and frustrate the efforts of those who don't want our success and bless our ancestors for bringing us here and leading the way and laying the foundation which we are continuing today. That was the end of this piece.